All right, let me go ahead and turn on this camera and um, allow the Lord to speak through me through his Holy Spirit because it's going down, like I always say, Kings. So let me start out with this. I'm gonna say a quick prayer because prayer is important, Lord. Uh, you guys, like the Lord says, you know what I mean? You have to pray. Why? Because when you pray, you penetrate against the demonic realm, the spiritual realm, which is the second heaven. If you don't believe me, go look up John Ramirez. John Ramirez used to be a Satanist, devil worshiper. Now he is a worshiper of Christ, helping save people from um, going to hell, you know, by identifying all the devices of the devil that he learned from serving the devil since I think he said like 20 plus years or something. You know what I mean? But uh, let me go ahead and bow my head. Lord Jesus, I give you all the glory and the praise. Father, I thank you for this another wonderful, blessed day that you have woke us up, Lord. I pray that you protect us, guide us, and lead us. And may you have your way. May your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And may this message reach who it's supposed to reach. May you use me as your humble servant so that when that day comes, Lord, I may be rewarded the crown of life in heaven. And also, I wish the same for those who this message is meant for, who you are calling, Lord, in these last hours, because it's getting real out here in the field. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. <clears throat> What's good with my people? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Marlon, the messenger, 777. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys. So hopefully you guys are feeling blessed and not worried about the stress. Today is another beautiful blessed day, my guys, that the good Lord has blessed us with. All right, you guys. So shout out to my kings who are retaining their seed. I just want to say if you want to get closer to God, continue to pray and retain your seed. Continue to remain abstinence. Do not open your body, your spirit up to these demonic forces that are trying to destroy you and delay you from getting closer to God. It's not just about the blessings, you guys. At the end of the day, your true blessing is going to be God blessing you with a new life that is basically getting closer to him. Because everything that glitter ain't gold... Why would you want to be blessed with a house, a car, clothes, jewelry, status, looks, money, all these things, if you're going to end up burning in hell? Like the Bible says, what will it profit a man? Let me fix this camera, you guys. What will it profit a man? Right? If What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, but he loses his soul? Now, I know on this channel, usually we talk about semen retention, female attraction, all this nonsense that doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, God put it on my heart. Now it's time to teach now because that's what Christ did. Christ said you will be like me once you put on the full armor of God. Everywhere that God went, what did he do? He taught. He was a teacher. You know, if you see people doing wrong and you know right from wrong, you have to speak on that. That is wrong. You don't say wrong is right and right is wrong, even though that's where we at in these times. And like the Bible says, once we reach that point in life, just know the end is almost here. So with that being said, the title of this video is your girl is probably a witch on semen retention. Now, we know nowadays every girl is practicing witchcraft. Here's how you know. Jezebel was a dominating masculine man. Why? Because she believes she's God. God is a masculine figure, not a feminine figure, not a softy. He's strong. He's firm. This is what it is. And this is what it's going to be. A feminine man is, nah, um, you're right. Okay. It's all right. Nah, I ain't going to do it. Well, mm, passive aggressive. You know what I mean? Knowing damn well, deep down inside, he do not want to agree to this, but he going to agree because he's a simp, a.k.a. he got the Ahab spirit in him. Ahab was the husband of Jezebel. Jezebel was controlling Ahab and wanted to steal the guy's vineyard or whatever and dominate uh, her husband by telling her, I want that and I deserve that, knowing that she didn't deserve it. Now, what did Jezebel do? How did she lure a man in and do all this through makeup? That's why I say your girl's probably a witch. Makeup is witchcraft. 
Why do you think when they take off the mask, it doesn't have the same effect on you? You know, when a girl get all dolled up, it puts you in a spiritual trance. These are doctrines of demons. That's why you see women all fixed up with the makeup. You know, that's why you see them. Oh, I got to get braces. I got to get veneers. I got to get my butt done. I got to get my cheeks. Botox It's all witchcraft, black magic spells. They putting a spell on you. Why do you think when you finally get that girl, the baddie, all of a sudden your life end up in shambles. You end up jacked up more than you was before you even met this person. Well, why is that? Because they were sent from the devil. So your girl is probably a witch. She probably practicing all these spells on you. You know what I'm saying? Putting the juices. I ain't going to say where it come from. You can read between the lines into your food. So she put a love spell on you. You know what I'm saying? Or she put the fragrance, fragrances on. So when she leave or, or, or when she pass by instantly through your senses, because that's how the devil gets you through your senses, your sensations, your emotions. Boom. Oh, man, I'm thinking about her. Why you think, bro, when she leave, how can you still smell her perfume when she leave? Days later, you over here, you ain't got nothing on that got her smell on. You ain't got nothing of hers. But all of a sudden, man, I just, I just smell, I smell dashiki. Oh my goodness. Dashiki is right here. How do I smell her? Because it's witchcraft. It's witchcraft. She put on a little makeup, just like the days of Egyptians. They was all practicing witchcraft. Let me go straighten my hair and get my hair done. Why does a girl with good hair got to put tracks in the hair? You know what I'm saying? Why is a bald head of scatterwhack? Her hair can't touch her back. Why she keep putting wigs on? Why she keep putting a uh, weave? It's unbelievable, un unachievable in her head because she is manipulating you, my boy. You know what I'm saying? It's not to bring you closer to God. It's to take you away. And don't get me wrong. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody sinless. But this is what's going to happen when you get on your journey with God and Christ finally come into your body, your temple. He going to set you straight, even in your sin. You ain't going to have no choice but to speak on the truth and to preach, to preach against the devil. See, the God, God is using me. To show you guys from what I've been through, revealing the devices and the schemes of the devil. Our problem today, men, is not drugs, is not food, is not um, is not egotism, is not uh, money, looks, and status. Our problem is women. It's the same thing. Ain't nothing new underneath the sun. It's the same concept as when Adam and Eve was in the garden. What was Adam's problem? His girl, his wife. Adam, he didn't bite the apple. And no, oh, you don't believe me? You don't believe that this runs all the way back then? Turn away your, turn around your iPhone. The apple is bitten. Bam. Slap yourself in the face with the truth and stop lying to yourself. You know it's resonating with you because you know when you go home, you don't even want to be next to her, but you can't stop being next to her. Why is that? Because it's supernatural. It has it, it has everything to do with. Your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions, everything she's doing to you, the manipulation, the lies, the intimidation. You know what they used to call it in um, in sales? They used to call it the takeaway effect. I'm going to put a deal that you can't resist and that you can't turn down. And I'm going to put it right here, but I'm also put a time limit on it. Here you go. If you don't take the deal. Next week is going to be gone and somebody else going to take it. Don't that sound familiar? Yeah, I don't need you and I hate you and you hurt me. And it's going to be a better man out there to take care of me. It's lies and manipulation. She already knows she got another John. Sean John P. Diddy Combs up the street waiting who swing both ways. Most men are homosexual. Most women are lesbians nowadays. What is that? That's not natural. That's supernatural because the Baphomet, the God of the devil is the goat, stinky, disgusting. Got the two horns, the rams. And then what is it? Half man, half woman, half he, she, we, he, be. Like I always say, it's, it's, it's a counterfeit to God. God is order. The devil is chaos. So your girl is probably a witch. She probably wearing all this seductive clothing. She probably wearing these long dresses or these tight clothes. She probably got her boobs done, probably got her butt done. Probably always concerned about her look, putting on pound, pounds of makeup every single day. 
Always got the lipstick on, probably red to get your attention. Probably uh, putting on so many pounds of uh, perfume so you could smell her from a mile away. Why? Because it is hitting you in your senses. God don't care about your senses. Once you start following Christ, you do what you're supposed to do because it's righteous, not because you want to. But with the devil, you do it because I'm feeling good today. Ha, I just got paid, baby. Ooh, little shorty, little witch, little witch over here just gave me some booty. So I'm feeling good. She over here telling me I'm the man. And it's all lies and manipulation from the devil, my boy. So why would you follow a woman when that is chaos? Follow God. Follow Jesus Christ. That's the only name that the devils are trembled to. You know what I'm saying? Even in hell, the demons and, and, and the devil run away from Jesus Christ. Run away even in hell. That's the power in the blood of Christ. Why do you think he was sent down here from heaven to die on the cross for our sins? So that who, whosoever shall believe in him. You know how you know what you believe? By what you practice every day. That's how you know. It's not just what you say, it's what you do. Love is an action word. So you say you love Christ, right? You say you love God. Well, why are you over here dating that witch when you know that she ain't no good for you? One dude even told me one time, bro. It reminded me of me. I kept going back to the same person every single time. Every single time. Lord, why is this happening? Because you like that and you asked for it and I gave you free will and you using it to, to do that. A dude once told me one time, I was messing with this chick who got a husband and a man, a baby daddy. And wrong answer. You shouldn't even be messing with her anyways. But of course, she's a witch and she put that witchcraft on you and them spells on you. So you couldn't resist the supernatural demonic forces that are penetrating you because there's thousands of demons on this planet. Why do you think you need Christ? Why do you think you need to pray? Why do you think you need to fast? Why do you think you need to read your Bible? Because you need to fight against these principalities that are over these cities, states, and countries. Families. Why? What do you think generational curses is? You think that's just something they just came up with one day? Come on, man. And then the witches, what they do is they lure you in through lust. They know men are lustful because we all about what we see. We all about what we say. Oh, she look good. She got to be a good person. She got to be the one because I mean, she banging. She take care of herself. Come on now. Don't be a fool. These witches will dominate you and put spells on you and do witchcraft on you. And you don't even know why you think they take your clothes. Why you think she leave her little clip at your house, her little dress, her little perfume? Why you think she always when she hug you, she always tell you these little soft lullabies. Why you think she always. You ever wonder why she always know you cheating? Because she a cheater. She's the master of manipulation. That's what the spirit of, of Lucifer is. The master of manipulation. Oh, don't nobody do it better than a woman. Yeah, AKA don't nobody do it better than a witch. And let's not get started on the warlocks. You know what I'm saying? The warlocks out here, the men witches. You feel me? And wizards. Yeah, it's going down out here. We going in today. Yeah, for sure, for sure, because Christ got us on the front line. And we're going to die for this. we going hard for the kingdom of God because we're going to put a stop to this as we enter the final stages of this life. And you, you could you could talk all the trash you want and hate all you want to because the demons in you know it's the truth if you get mad off this video. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to plant a seed of hope. The only way out is the way through, and that's through him. No one comes to the Father but through Christ. No one gets to the father, but through Christ. You got to go through him. So I say that to say this, your girl is probably a witch. So what would I do if I was you? I would flee fornication like the Bible say, get away. You ever wonder why it's the same character every time? Man, I keep meeting these Jezebels. I keep meeting these Delilahs. I keep meeting these people who I know that ain't no good for me. And woo woo to woo to woo woo What is going on? You see what I'm saying? Why does this keep happening? Why does this keep happening to me? Because you ain't closed that door. You ain't closed that door. And you think that this is a woman who just so happened to love you, but it's not. She probably a witch. So look at how she maneuver. If it's intimidation, lies, manipulation, she got all type of pounds of makeup on. She's she's promiscuous. She done slept with a lot of dudes. She take pride in getting you mad and always arguing with you. She's always buying you gifts and trying to lure you in to her way of thinking so she can dominate you. It's a witch, my boy. And if I was you, I would pray 
fall to my knees and pray to Jesus Christ to save me, save you, because that's the only one who can deliver you. You have to be delivered from them demons. And you don't have to be in church to be delivered. It could be through this screen right here. If you don't know how to be delivered, look up Pastor Derek Prince. He teaches it thoroughly how to be delivered from demons. That being said, I love y'all. Be careful. Stay on your semen retention journey so you can stay connected to God Almighty, to Jesus Christ. And remember this, your girl is probably a witch on semen retention. Peace.